So welcome to the Annex at Manifold Recording. I'm Michael Tiemann and I'm here to tell you a little bit about this new digital room. We love the API analog console. Analog is definitely the first word in professional recording, but it's not the last word, it's not the only word. And one of the biggest struggles that we had when we were designing this facility was analog versus digital. And we ultimately resolved that question by going both. So we've got analog API in the main studio, and we have this Harrison digital try-on console here in the annex. This console is a classic console in a digital format. We have 48 faders in the center section. These 48 faders are configured as two layers of audio, the first 48 channels on layer one, the second 48 channels on layer two, each channel of this Harrison Tryon has two inputs. So that's 192 inputs available right there. It also has in layer three uh, Pro Tools Huey control, which uh, you can see there. But there's layer two all in, there's layer one all in. And one thing that you can see here is we've got some meters bouncing. And this is another really unique feature of this facility we envisioned these two studios as being both independent but also integrated studios. So right now, um, Alex Oano is doing a uh, uh, finishing up some tracking uh, for the demo recording. And what I've configured is that the entire outputs of the main studio console and Pro Tools system are feeding over to this console. So what I've got is all of the analog direct outs on input A and all of the Pro Tools imp, uh, outputs over there on input B. So I can listen to exactly what's coming out of the console on layer A or, and that's, uh, that's all on layer A, um, or I can listen to everything that's coming out of Pro Tools as he's punching in and overdubbing. So the next time we see those meters dance, I'll, uh, I'll unmute this. But we have 256 digital tie lines coming across at 96K. We have 256 returns going back. So whether we're doing a project here and monitoring over there, or as we're doing right now, doing a project over there and monitoring here, one of the advantages of this setup is that uh, people can listen to what's going on and and experiment with alternatives which would just be too disruptive to the flow of the actual project that's happening over there. So um, we've also used this as a wonderful opportunity where you are starting your mix whichever room you want to go hear a totally different reference just walk across the uh, breezeway and then you can hear in a different uh, room with different monitors. These are Gazowski Swiss GS3As, a powerful, uh, really clean, uh, unported, so just a, just a straight ahead 12 inch woofer with the ATC mid-range driver and a, and a soft dome tweeter to give a really, really nice response in this room. Across the way, ATC SCM 25s on the meter bridge and we have uh, Dyn Audio M4s as the main soft speakers. So whatever they're doing over there, we'll, we'll hear it in a minute. We don't, we don't control their board in here, but next time they do a punch, we'll, uh, we'll see the meters light up. I'll tell you another couple of things about this console. So as you would expect, uh, we have the standard uh, uh, channel strips, which are gonna have aux ends. Each of these uh, fader strips has got 16 aux ends, have eight bands of EQ. Each band of EQ here, I'm gonna bring up uh, channel 24 as, uh, oh, there we go. So here I am back uh, listening to their Pro Tools session. Let's just hear what they're doing. Now I can pull these faders down. And you know, that's my mix. So it's just like I have a copy of that console over there, and I can do what I want to do. 
so that's kind of groovy. But back to the back to the uh, to the straight ahead stuff. We have um, 16 aux ends. We've got eight bands of EQ. If I bring this up and we look over here, come on over here, Struther, and just check out my processing here. So what we have here is these are the eight bands of EQ. Right now they're set to all be Bell, which is uh, all fine and dandy. Let's turn the EQ on. Here's my bands. There's band number one. There's a Bell EQ. But, uh, you know, it's a nice approximation of a, of a sort of standard parametric EQ. But I could change this to, uh, uh, to being a, a, a graphic EQ, and then it's going to behave more like a 560 instead of a 550, for example. Um, we can change, of course, the Q settings to uh, uh, make these narrower or or wider. Let me bring up my EQ here, and uh, let me see if I can get this. Uh, uh, there we go. That's uh, oh, yeah. So that's um, that's EQ number one. There's that. Let's get the Q going, uh, and I think the Q is going to make a lot more sense when we go into Bell. Yeah. See that? So there's your, mm -hmm. there's that, and of course we also have a notch filter. We have shelving. We've got low pass, high pass. So anyway, lots of lots of freedom and flexibility on the EQs. Every compress, every channel has built in uh, gate expander, uh, compressor, and uh, of course uh, full rich panning which as you can see here is all surround and if you look right here as I move I'm doing things the wrong way what I should be doing is I should be grabbing that thing and adjusting my panning <laughs> with this wonderful little surround panner but whether you do it with the mouse or the surround panner that's that's how that works and you've got the ability to modify these channels so for example you can put uh, the EQ in before or after your patch point. You can put your aux pans uh, ahead of the EQ or after the EQ. You can put your gate and over here. You can put, you can compress way, uh, way up early if you want. And uh, bottom line is the kind of flexibility you would naturally expect with a digital console is, is here on every single channel. And then from, from there, you're off into, uh, into fader land and you've got up to 16-way panning because Harrison makes film consoles. So for post-production, for video, uh, which is an industry that we're really trying to support here in North Carolina, uh, we're getting a lot of inquiries about folks from folks who are they're, they're, they're making movies in Asheville, they're making movies in Winston-Salem, they're making movies in, um, in Charlotte and, and Wilmington, and looking to keep that movie here uh, for convenience, uh, working with their friends, and the tax benefits aren't that bad. So, all in all, what we have here is a full realization of a surround digital console. Uh, nice, comfortable size format, lots of power, and um, uh, we've just mixed our first uh, record project here. It was uh, three and a half weeks of mixing time, and the console performed beautifully.